my one son dying didn't stop my other son from using opioids. If you live with an addict long enough, you, you expect every day that they're going to die. It was the beginning of Charlie's, the end of his life at that point. His life changed dramatically. Um, um, uh. There's almost like a perfect storm set up with the whole Oxycontin thing. And then when these cheap and ultra potent analogs came in, it was like a recipe for disaster. This is an epidemic that's sweeping our nation and killing our loved ones. Ibogaine is profoundly beneficial for patients suffering from opioid addiction. And these compounds are different from traditional Western allopathic medicines in that they're not dispensed to be taken home. They're given in a therapeutic setting with preparation and with integration. I didn't approach it with really a whole lot of expectation. I was broken, desperate, injecting heroin as often as I could. So I was at a very low point and anything that was going to have the slightest promise of taking me out of that was something worth trying. And the government says it has no useful medical value. No useful medical value, it saves lives. I know people who've used the boga after 20 years of heroin use, and they do boga, they don't have any withdrawal from the heroin. What ultimately happened during that first phase of, of Ibogaine, I feel like was taking the part of me that still had a spark of life left and just throwing a bit of gasoline on it and it erupted this sense of amazing self-love and, and intellectual curiosity. Most people will only have one experience if they ever even get to the medicine and in that one experience it transforms their entire life. There's nothing like that in Western medicine and so to, to make that an illegal substance and to prohibit its research and prohibit its clinical use is is to do harm. Ibogaine is the most miraculous thing I've ever seen to help anyone get out of an addiction. We have the evidence. Physicians have the evidence in front of them if they only wanted to look at it. The evidence has been published in major journals. It's beyond controversy. How come you don't see it? How come you don't consider its implications for medical practice? It is essential that we act now to change the laws. We act now to let as many people as we can know about iboga, that iboga saves lives. Because iboga is an entheogen. It's just the tip of the iceberg of entheogens, but it is a granddaddy and it's strong enough to, to cut through the crisis we're facing right now. And we can do it. We are going to do it and with your help, if you donated to, the, to our cause, 
We could do it so much faster and so much better and reach all the people. And we could literally have a planetary transformation. It is possible. Mm -hmm.